A Shropshire Lad by A. E. Houseman, Part 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. A Shropshire Lad by A. E. Houseman, Part 1. 1. 1887. From Clee to heaven the beacon burns, the shires have seen it plain. From north and south the sign returns, and beacons burn again. Look left, look right, the hills are bright, the dales are light between, because tis fifty years to-night that God has saved the queen. Now in the flame they watch not towers, about the soil they trod. Lads, will remember friends of ours, who shared the work with God. To skies that knit their heart-strings right, to fields that bred them brave, the saviors come not home to-night, themselves they could not save. It dawns in Asia, tombstones show, and Shropshire names are read, and the Nile spills his overflow beside the Severn's dead. We pledge in peace by farm and town the queen they served in war, and fire the beacons up and down the land they perished for. God save the queen, we living sing, from height to height is heard, and with the rest your voices ring, lads of the fifty-third. O God will save her, fear you not, be you the men you've been, Get you the sons your fathers got, and God will save the queen. 2. Loveliest of trees, the cherry now, Is hung with bloom along the bough, And stands about the woodland ride, Wearing white for Easter tide. Now of my threescore years and ten, Twenty will not come again, And take from seventy springs a score, It only leaves me fifty more. And since to look at things in bloom, Fifty springs are little room, about the woodlands I will go, to see the cherry hung with snow. 3. The Recruit Leave your home behind, lad, and reach your friends your hand, and go and luck go with you, while Ludlow Tower shall stand. O come you home of Sunday, when Ludlow streets are still, and Ludlow bells are calling to farm and lane and mill. Or come you home of Monday, when Ludlow markets hum, and Ludlow chimes are playing, the conquering hero comes. Come you home a hero, or come not home at all, The lads you leave will mind you, Till Ludlow Tower shall fall. And you will list the bugle that blows in lands of morn, And make the foes of England be sorry you were born. And you will trump of doomsday on lands of morn they lie, And make the hearts of comrades be heavy where you die. Leave your home behind you, your friends by field and town, O oh, town and field will mind you, Till Ludlow Tower is down. Or Reveille. Wake, the silver dusk returning up the beach of darkness brims, and the ship of sunrise burning strands upon the eastern rims. Wake, the vaulted shadow shatters, trample to the floor it spanned, and the tent of night in tatters straws the sky pavilioned land. Up, lad, up, tis late for lying, hear the drums of morning play. Hark the empty highway crying, who'll be on the hills away? Towns and countries woo together, Forland's beacon, belfries call. Never lad that trod on leather lived to feast his heart with all. Up, lad, few that lie and cumber, sunlit pallets never thrive. Morns abed and daylight slumber were not meant for man alive. Play lies still, but bloods are over, breaths are where that will not keep. Up, lad, when the journey's over, there'll be time enough to sleep. Five. Oh, see how thick the gold-cup flowers are lying in field and lane, with dandelions to tell the hours that never are told again. Oh, may I squire you round the meads and pick you posies gay, for do no harm to take my arm. You may, young man, you may. Ah, spring was set for lass and lad, tis now the blood runs gold, and man and maid had best be glad before the world is old. What flowers to-day may flower to-morrow, but never as good as new. Suppose I wound my arm right round. Tis true, young man, tis true. Some lads there are, tis shame to say, That only court to thee, And once they bear the bloom away, Tis little enough they leave. Then keep your heart from men like me, And safe from trustless chaps. My love is true and all for you. Perhaps, young man, perhaps. Oh, look in my eyes, then, can you doubt? Why, tis a mile from town. How green the grass is all about, we might as well sit down. Ah, life, what is it but a flower? 
why must true lovers sigh? Be kind, have pity, my own, my pretty. Goodbye, young man, goodbye. 6. When the lad for longing sighs, mute and dull of cheer and pale, if at death's own door he lies, maiden, you can heal his ale. Lover's ills are all to buy, the one look, the hollow tone, the hung head, the sunken eye, you can have them for your own. Buy them, buy them, even more, and lover's ills are all to sell, then you can lie down forlorn, but the lover will be well. 7. When smoke stood up from Ludlow, and mist blew off from team, and blithe the field to ploughing against the morning beam, I strode beside my team. The blackbird in the coppice looked out to see me stride, and hearkened as I whistled the trampling team beside, and fluted and replied, Lie down, lie down, young yeoman, what used to rise and rise. Rise man a thousand mornings, yet down at last he lies, and then the man is wise. I heard the tune he sang me, and spied his yellow bill. I picked a stone and aimed it, and threw it with a will. Then the bird was still. Then my soul within me took up the blackbird's strain, and still beside the horses along the dewy lane, it sang the song again. Lie down, lie down, young yeoman, the sun moves always west. The road one treads to labor will lead one home to rest, and that will be the best. 8. Farewell to barn and stack and tree, farewell to Severn shore. Terence, look your last at me, for I come home no more. The sun burns on the half-mown hill, by now the blood is dried, and Morris amongst the hay lies still, and my knife is in his side. My mother thinks us long away, tis time the field were mown. She had two sons at rising day, to-night she'll be alone. And here's a bloody hand to shake, and oh, man, here's good-bye. We'll sweat no more on scythe and rake, my bloody hands and I. I wish you strength to bring you pride, and a love to keep you clean, and I wish you luck come lamestide at racing on the green. Long for me the rick will wait, and long will wait the fold, and long will stand the empty plate, and dinner will be cold. 9. On moonlit heath and lonesome bank the sheep beside me graze, and yon the gallows used to clank fast by the four cross ways. A careless shepherd once would keep the flocks by moonlight there, and high amongst the glimmering sheep the dead man stood on air. They hang us now in Shrewsbury jail, the whistles blow forlorn, and trains all night grown on the rail to men that die at morn. There sleeps in Shrewsbury jail to-night, or wakes as may betide, a better lad if things went right than most that sleep outside. And naked to the hangman's noose the morning clocks will ring, a neck God made for other use than strangling in a string. And sharp the link of life will snap, and dead on air will stand, heels that held up as straight a chap as treads upon the land. So here I'll watch the night and wait to see the morning shine, when he will hear the stroke of eight, and not the stroke of nine. And wish my friend as sound asleep as lads I did not know, that shepherded the moonlight sheep a hundred years ago. 10. March The sun at noon to higher air, unharnessing the silver pair, that late before his chariot swam, rides in the gold wool of the ram. So braver notes the storm-cock sings to start the rusted wheel of things, and brutes in field and brutes in pen leap that the world goes round again. The boys are up the woods with day to fetch the daffodils away, and home at noonday from the hills they bring no dearth of daffodils. A field for palms the girls repair, and sure enough the palms are there, and each will find by hedge or pond her waving silver tufted wand. In farm and field through all the shire the eye beholds the heart's desire. Ah, let not only mine be vain, for lovers should be loved again. 11. On your midnight padded lying, listen, and undo the door. Lads that waste the light in sighing, and the dark should sigh no more. Night should ease a lover's sorrow, therefore, since I go to-morrow, pity me before. 
In the land to which I travel, the far dwelling, let me say, Once if here the couches gravel, in a kinder bed I lay, And the breast the darn of smothers rested once upon another's, When it was not clay. 12. When I watch the living meat and the moving pageant file, Warm and breathing through the street where I lodge a little while, If the heats of hate and lust in the house of flesh are strong, let me mind the house of dust, where my sojourn shall be long. In the nation that is not, nothing stands that stood before. Their revenges are forgot, and the hater hates no more. Lovers lying two and two ask not whom they sleep beside, and the bridegroom all night through never turns him to the bride. 13. When I was one and twenty, I heard a wise man say, Give crowns and pounds and guineas, but not your heart away. Give pearls away and rubies, but keep your fancy free. But I was one and twenty, no use to talk to me. When I was one and twenty, I heard him say again, The heart out of the bosom was never given in vain. Tis paid with sighs a plenty and sold for endless rue. And I am two and twenty, and oh, tis true, tis true. 14. There pass the careless people that call their souls their own. Here by the road I loiter, how idle and alone. Ah, past the plunge of plummet and seas I cannot sound. My heart and soul and senses, world without end, are drowned. His folly has not fellow beneath the blue of day That gives to man or woman his heart and soul away. There flowers no balm to sain him from east of earth to west that lost for everlasting the heart out of his breast. Hereby the labouring highway with empty hands I stroll, see deep till doomsday morning I lost my heart and soul. 15. Look not in my eyes, for fear they mirror to the sight I see, and there you find your face too clear and love it and be lost like me. One the long nights through must lie, spent in star-defeated sighs, But why should you as well as I perish? Gaze not in my eyes. Aggression, lad, as I here tell, one that many loved in vain, Looked into a forest well, and never looked away again. There, when the turf and springtime flowers, with downward eye and gazes sad, Stands amid the glancing showers, a jonquil, not aggression, lad. 16. It nods and curtsies and recovers when the wind blows above, The nettle on the grave of lovers that hang themselves for love. The nettle nods, the wind blows over, the man who does not move, The lover of the grave, the lover that hanged himself for love. 17. Twice a week the winter through, here stood I to keep the goal. Football then was fighting sorrow for the young man's soul. Now in May time to the wicket out I march with bat and pad, See the son of grief at cricket trying to be glad. Try I will, no harm in trying, Wonder tis how little mirth Keeps the bones of man from lying on the bed of earth. 18. Oh, when I was in love with you, Then I was clean and brave, And miles around the wonder grew How well did I behave. And now the fancy passes by, and nothing will remain, And miles around they'll say that I am quite myself again. 19. To an Athlete Dying Young The time you won your town the race, we cheered you through the marketplace. Man and boy stood cheering by, and home we brought you shoulder high. Today the road all runners come, shoulder high we bring you home, And set you at your threshold down, townsmen of a stiller town. Smart lad, to slip the times away from fields where glory does not stay, And early though the laurel grows, it withers quicker than the rose. Eyes the shady night has shut cannot see the record cut, And silence sounds no worse than cheers after earth has stopped the ears. Now you will not swell the rout of lads that wore their honours out, Runners whom renown outran, and the name died before the man. So set before its echoes fade, the fleet foot on the sill of shade, 
and hold to the low lintel up the still defended challenge cup and round that early laurelled head will flock to gaze the strengthless dead and find unwithered on its curls the garland briefer than a girl's twenty oh fair enough are sky and plain but i know fairer far those are as beautiful again that in the water are the pools and rivers wash so clean the trees and clouds and air the like on earth was never seen and oh that i were there there in the thoughts i often think as i stand gazing down and act upon the chrissy brink to strip and dive and drown but in the golden sanded brooks and azure mirrors i spy a silly lad that longs and looks and wishes he were i twenty one Breeden Hill. In summer time on Breeden, the bells they sound so clear, round both the shires they ring them in steeples far and near, a happy noise to hear. Here of a Sunday morning my love and I would lie, and see the coloured counties, and hear the larks so high about us in the sky. The bells would ring to call her in valleys miles away. Come all to church, good people, good people, come and pray. But here my love would stay and I will turn an answer among the springing time, O oh, peal upon our wedding, and we will hear the chime, and come to church in time. But when the snows at Christmas on Breeden top were strown, my love rose up so early, and stole out unbeknown, and went to church alone. They told the one bell only, whom there was none to see, the mourners followed after, and soon to church went she, and would not wait for me. The bells they sound on Breeden, and still the steeples hum. Come all to church, good people. Oh, noisy bells, be dumb. I hear you. I will come. 22. The street sounds to the soldier's tread, and out we troop to see. A single red coat turns his head, he turns and looks at me. My man, from sky to sky so far, we never crossed before. Such leagues apart the world's ends are, we're like to meet no more. What thoughts at heart have you and I, we cannot stop to tell, but dead or living, drunk or dry. Soldier, I wish you well. 23. The lads in their hundreds to Ludlow come in for the fair. There's men from the barn and the forge and the mill and the fold. The lads for the girls and the lads for the liquor are there and there with the rest are the lads that never will be old. There's chaps from the town and the field and the till and the cart, and many to count to the stalwart, and many the brave, and many the handsome of face and the handsome of heart, and few that will carry their looks or their truth to the grave. I wish one could know them. I wish there were tokens to tell, the fortunate fellows that now you can never discern, and then one could talk with them friendly and wish them farewell, and watch them depart on the way that they will not return. But now you may stare as you like, and there's nothing to scan, and brushing your elbow unguessed at and not to be told, they carry back right to the coiner the mintage of man, the lads that will die in their glory and never be old. 24. Say, lad, have you things to do? Quick, then, while your day is at prime. Quick, and if tis work for two, here, my man, now is your time. Send me now, and I shall go. Call me, I shall hear your call. Use me ere they lay me low, where a man's no use at all. Ere the wholesome flesh decay, and the willing nerve be dumb, and the lips lack breath to say, No, my lad, I cannot come. 25. This time of year, a twelve month past, when Fred and I would meet, we needs must jangle, till at last we fought and I was beat. So then the summer fields about till rainy days began, Rose Harland on her Sundays out, walked with the better man. The better man she walks with still, though now tis not with Fred. A lad that lives and has his will is worth a dozen dead. Fred keeps the house all kinds of weather, and claves the house he keeps. When Rose and I walk out together, stock still lies Fred and sleeps. 26. Along the fields as we came by, a year ago my love and I, the aspen over stile and stone was talking to itself alone. 
oh who are these that kiss and pass a country lover and his lass two lovers looking to be wed and time shall put them both to bed but she shall lie with earth above and he beside another love and sure enough beneath the tree there walks another love with me and overhead the aspen heaves its rainy sounding silver leaves and i spell nothing in their stir but now perhaps they speak to her and plain for her to understand they talk about a time at hand when i shall sleep with clover clad and she beside another lad twenty seven is my team ploughing that i used to drive and hear the harness jingle when i was man alive ay the horses trample the harness jingles now no change though you lie under the land you used to plough is football playing along the river shore with lads to chase the leather now i stand up no more ay the ball is flying the lads play heart and soul the goal stands up the keeper stands up to keep the goal is my girl happy that i thought hard to leave and has she tired of weeping as she lies down at eve ay she lies down lightly she lies not down to weep your girl is well contented be still my lad and sleep is my friend hearty now i am thin and pine and has he found to sleep in a better bed than mine yes lad i lie easy i lie as lads would choose i cheer a dead man's sweetheart never ask me whose twenty eight the welsh marches high the veins of shrewsbury gleam islands in the severn stream the bridges from the steepled crest cross the water east and west the flag of morn and conqueror's state enters at the english gate the vanquished eve as might prevails bleeds upon the road to wales ages since the vanquished bled round about my mother's bed there the ravens feasted far about the open house of war when severn down to beldwis ran coloured with the death of man couched upon her brother's grave the saxon got me on the slave the sound of fight is silence long that began the ancient wrong long the voice of tears is still that wept of old the endless ill in my heart it has not died the war that sleeps on severn side they cease not fighting east and west on the marches of my breast here the truceless armies yet trample rolled in blood and sweat they kill and kill and never die and i think that each is i none will part us none undo the knot that makes one flesh of two sick with hatred sick with pain strangling when shall we be slain when shall i be dead and rid of the wrong my father did how long how long till spade and hearse put to sleep my mother's curse twenty nine the lent lily tis spring come out to ramble the hilly breaks around for under thorn and bramble about the hollow ground the primroses are found and there is the wing-flower chilly with all the winds at play and there is the lenten lily that has not long to stay and dies on easter day and since till girls go maying you find the primroses still and find the wind-flower playing with every wind at will but not the daffodil bring baskets now and sally upon the spring's array and bear from hill and valley the daffodil away that dies on easter day thirty others i am not the first have wield more mischief than they durst if in the breathless night i too shiver now tis nothing new more than i if truth were told have stood and sweated hot and cold and threw their reins in ice and fire fear contented with desire Ogged once like me were they, but I like them shall win my way, lastly to the bed of mould where there's neither heat nor cold. But from my grave across my brow plays no wind of healing now, and fire and ice within me fight beneath the suffocating night. 31. On Wendlick edge the woods in trouble, his forest flees, the rank in heaves, the gale it plies, the saplings double, and thick on seven snows the leaves. Twould blow like this through Holt and Hanger, where Eurocon city stood. Tis the old wind in the old anger, but then it threshed another wood. Then twas before my time, the Roman at yonder heaving hill would stare, 
the blood that warms an English yeoman, the thoughts that hurt him, they were there. There, like the wind through woods in riot, through him the gale of life blew high. The tree of man was never quiet, then t'was the Roman, now tis I. The gale it plies, the saplings double, it blows so hard t'will soon be gone. Today the Roman and his trouble are ashes on the Yurikon. 32. From far, from even morning, in yon twelve-winded sky, the stuff of life to knit me blew hither, here am I. Now for a breath I tarry, nor yet disperse apart. Take my hand quick, and tell me, what have you in your heart? Speak now, and I will answer, how shall I help you say? Ere to the wind's twelve quarters, I take my endless way. 33. If truth in hearts that perish could move the powers on high, I think the love I bear you should make you not to die. Sure, sure, if steadfast meaning, if single thought could save, the world might end to-morrow, you should not see the grave. This long and sure set liking, this boundless will to please, oh, you should live for ever if there were health in these. But now, since all is idle, to this lost heart be kind, ere to a town you journey where friends are ill to find. 34. The New Mistress Oh, sick I am to see you, will you never let me be? You may be good for something, but you are not good for me. Oh, go where you are wanted, for you are not wanted here. And that was all the farewell when I parted from my dear. I will go where I am wanted, to the lady born and bred, who will dress me free for nothing in a uniform of red. She will not be sick to see me if I only keep it clean. I will go where I am wanted, for a soldier of the queen. I will go where I am wanted, for the sergeant does not mind. He may be sick to see me, but he treats me very kind. He gives me beer and breakfast and a ribbon for my cap, and I never knew a sweetheart spend money on a chap. I will go where I am wanted, where there's room for one or two, and the men are none too many for the work there is to do, where the standing line wears thinner and the dropping dead lie thick, and the enemies of England, they shall see me and be sick. End of A Shropshire Lad by A. E. Houseman, Part 1